practical and I feel like I've learned how to defend myself. It's fun. You have a great time. You get to you get to actually hit the pad hard. It's a great workout as well. If someone jumped me thinking they were just going after an old man, they'd be surprised. I learned to defend myself. It's something called Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Krav Maga. I'm going to check out this really cool thing called Krav Maga. The Israeli martial art called Krav Maga. Krav Maga is the official defensive tactics system of the Israeli military. It was created in the 1940s and 50s by a man named Emil Lichtenfeld. It was created at a time when the Israelis were bringing in everybody they could to fill their army. Men, women, people who are older, younger, people who are in shape, people who were not in shape. They needed to create a hand-to-hand -hand combat system that worked for all those people regardless of their experience and their level of ability. That system was Krav Maga. Known for its no-nonsense approach, the technique relies on a person's natural instincts. When an attack comes to you, let's say, for instance, it's a choke and you feel the hands on the throat, people's n natural reaction to that, to that pain, is to do something like this. So we're going to take that instinctive movement and turn that into the defense. Here's the threat. Boom! What, what did I do already? I already went. Redirected, caught with the second hand, and what else? Boom! Kick. Darren Levine is the chief instructor of Krav Maga in the United States. He is also a deputy district attorney in Los Angeles, where he witnesses firsthand the type of threat that Krav Maga is designed to combat. You could be at an ATM machine and you could have a gun in your back. You can have someone come up to you and put a knife at your throat. I mean, it can happen. It does happen. How do I know that? Because I prosecuted those cases. And our system deals with all those everyday type of things that are happening that are harmful to people. It is an uncomfortable feeling. It's the worst feeling. It's real world practical self-defense. I'm in this position. I take the guy. Why? Rob guy has the best weapon defense that I know. He just me and Brett's, the propeller gun, loaded it up, pointed it at me, and he said, if you see me move, you can shoot me. And I asked him, are you sure about this? And I couldn't get him one time. On the street, let's face it, this stuff really actually works. Krav Maga is meant so that everybody can be safe on the street. One, two, three. The fact that my daughter can cause great harm and defend herself is awesome, and the fact that my son can do the same is really great. You learn so much and so fast, and you, you gain such a huge you know, level of confidence in yourself, and especially being a woman in Los Angeles, it's a really important thing to have. Krav Maga really is a self-defense technique because women can be on an equal playing field with men. It's basically kind of a street fighting, anything goes kind of technique that really teaches you how to use the weight of the other person, even if they're bigger than you. One of the greatest joys I get as an instructor here is seeing a woman come in for the first time who's never been in a fight, who thinks she can't do it, has never been in that sort of physical situation, and in the course of one class, they go from feeling like they can't do it or they're uncomfortable doing it. At the end of class, they're kicking and punching and running around and just having a great time. And it's just like they get past that limitation that they've set for themselves in their own head. And once they get past it, there's nothing they can't accomplish. When we moved into the neighborhood, we thought it would be good to take some self-defense classes. Krav Maga. Oh. Krav Maga is not about being a tough guy or fighting in a ring. It's about going home alive, no matter what. And it's a rush. Pad on. Attack on three. One, two. OK, uh, I'm going to go get the rest of my stuff. So I'm just going to. Steinbeck, Steinbeck! That's not your safety word. I know. It's Saroy. Since learning Krav Maga, I'm a lot more confident. And besides that, I've become a lot more active. A lot more active because I did not go to the gym ever or work out ever unless it was 
fun and Krav Maga is a fun way to work out. It's almost like exercising without thinking you're exercising. You do all those things in the training for self-defense. If you want to learn something that's practical and lose weight at the same time, this is what you want to do. We offer so much of a variety of types of exercise and types of workouts. We do bag work, we do functional training, strength training, cardiovascular training. It's a, a huge adrenaline rush. It's, it's every class is different, so you always feel like you're involved in a different type of workout. There's a lot of people that haven't done a lot of physical exercise. There's a lot of people that look at this and say, whoa, this might intimidate me. Listen, we have the friendliest atmosphere to do very serious work. Everything is designed to make a student feel like at the end of the hour they walk out and go, that seemed like five minutes. And after you leave, not only are you sopping wet soap, like you would be at any gym, but you leave this facility with the ability to maybe save your life one day. You learn how to defend yourself. Krav Maga, do you know about this, Ken? No, I've never heard of it. Well, I guess it developed in Israel, and it's like the ultimate self-defense. They say it involves headbutting, hair pulling and poking in the eyes. In fact, the, the, the three guys that developed, show the three guys that developed it, they had them on the good.